Mistakes gives us something that we do not want. We learn and we think of ways to avoid it, but there are things we could have avoided if we knew the results beforehand. And that's what we want to talk about today. If this is your kind of content, please subscribe and hit the bell notification so you do not miss a video. Before we proceed, my name is Abby. I'm your host for today. And now let's talk about the first on our list of mistakes 95% new YouTubers make. Of course, it will be fantastic if YouTube was a completely level playing field and everyone would enjoy the success that they deserve depending on the content they create. But there will be some creators who will have a viral moment with appalling content while others slave away creating magnificent pieces of work that never get seen by the audience that deserves to see it. Thinking you deserve immediate success on YouTube until you prove your value first to your audience and then to YouTube, you are entitled to absolutely nothing. Remember, this is a free platform. You get to speak to a global audience and impact their lives. But you've got to do that first before you deserve any reward. Deleting content from your channel. Why not? First reason is that you are damaging the metrics on your channel. If you delete a video, it removes all of the views and all of the watch time, which is very important for people working towards monetization. Secondly, do not be embarrassed about the content that you've already got in your channel. If you look at channels such as Mr. Beast, you can see hundreds of terrible videos he put out on his channel before he was a success. So it is wonderful and fascinating to see the progress of a creator who went from nothing and is now a YouTube megastar. Leaving YouTube for an extended break. We've seen this phenomenon occur several times with channels. There are channels that have thousands of subscribers and the most recent videos are getting barely a couple of hundred views. And when we scroll through their list of videos, six, seven years ago, the videos they were making were getting thousands of views. But unfortunately, the channel took a significant break and in that time, the landscape of YouTube has changed radically. This often happens with tutorial channels that were some of the first on the platform, providing answers to questions that had not been asked in YouTube. And there weren't enough channels providing answers, so even with questionable thumbnails and content that was not brilliant because there was very little competition at the time, these channels were able to clean up. Now with far more sophisticated creators who are really savvy with their production values and enticing thumbnails, they are finding that they just cannot compete anymore. The truth is, for a lot of creators, YouTube should take up a certain portion of your time versus the rest of your life. But the lines often become blurred, whether you're on a roll or because you're super passionate about the videos that you're creating, you spend more and more time on YouTube, but there's only a certain amount of YouTube adrenaline that you can run off before you get burnt out or life gets in a way and you need to take a break. So that's why never run at 100% YouTube capacity all the time. Inconsistency. Ultimately, this is all to do with focus, finding your niche, going two inches wide, a mile deep, on a particular topic and building an audience through consistency, which naturally leads us to the topic of inconsistency. This can come in different shapes and sizes. For a lot of creators, it's the inconsistency of video output. This is why it's good to have some sort of schedule in the back of your mind. Whether you stick to it religiously by posting on the same day of the week, at the same time, or by telling your audience that you will publish a couple of several videos a week, but maybe not sticking to a strict schedule. Anything to do with sub for sub. This is probably the oldest YouTube mistake in the book, and a couple of people already recognize this as an error in their ways. Not allowing yourself to make mistakes. There is nothing wrong with making mistakes. It's like a lot of people who want to start a YouTube channel have to be of the mindset that their content has to be perfect to begin with and they will never start a YouTube channel because of that. Evan Carmichael probably puts this best. His simple advice was expect to suck. 
But there's absolutely nothing wrong with that because if you don't start somewhere, then you are never going to start and everyone has to go through a YouTube journey. As we've already said, some creators just have it. The X Factor. Janelle Oliana is a perfect example of a creator who was able to jump onto YouTube and just started making amazing content, which connected with a wide audience instantly. Any other mistakes that are not mentioned, put them in the comments and we'll check them out for you. Stay tuned with us and if you found this video helpful, give us a like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you do not miss a video. Once again, my name is Abby. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.